one that can see. I've got 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 one that can see. Ask yourself the question. You hear a lot of people talking about being awake. You hear a lot of people talking about having their eyes open, being able to see. But ask yourself the question, can they really see? Go ahead. Then ask yourself the question, why do they sound like they're crazy when they speak to others? Now, when I say ask yourself the question, it's 100% necessary to ask that question of them. Why is it that either they seem crazy or they think everyone else simply just doesn't understand? Why is it that it's so hard to convince people of the truth? Because you're trying too hard. You're trying to get people to see things from your vantage point, and you're not trying to get them to see it from their vantage point. That's why you can't get people to see. So stop trying to force them to understand. Incrementally is how you deliver information. I mean, think about it. Look at the Israelites when they were in the wilderness. Look at how he trained them in the wilderness incrementally. These people didn't know right from wrong, up or down. They didn't know anything. They had to be trained. That's why they were made to walk through the wilderness for 40 years. And then he also had to get rid of the ignorant ones. Why? Because those ignorant ones were causing all the problems. They were causing all the other people not to understand, not to believe, not to get things. So even in scripture, there is principal grounds for giving people information in doses, not all at once. Whew, so glad we got that taken care of. Now look, this is not going to be a very long video. I was looking at Day Live. I got one that can see. Um, ladies and gentlemen, while watching They Live, I decided I'm going to focus that as the theme for all the videos from this point forward on the Eon channel. Why? Because it is obvious that there is... Oh, no, not the spaceship that's on the screen. <laughs> that's just a, a desktop, motion desktop. That's all that is. That's That has nothing to do with being able to see. I don't believe in aliens in the sense that they're creatures living on other planets. I do believe in aliens, that there are other creatures from other dimensions. Yes, I do believe in that. That's what Satan is. That's what his so-called fallen angels or demons are. They're just in another dimension, another plane. That's why we can't see them unless they <laughs> make themselves visible. And then there are restrictions that they have as a result of that. So I do believe in those type of aliens. And if you don't believe me, go back and look at, uh, what's the name of the, the Avengers, the second one of the Avengers series. And you'll see how, go ahead, the first one, Loki walks out of a portal onto the ground, onto the surface. But the portal is parallel to the Earth. In the second one, the creatures are coming from space. And the portal is above the Earth which is exactly what the scriptures say are supposed to happen very soon. Remember, Satan says he was walking about the earth and roving about through it when it came to Job and asked, where have you been? So Loki walks about the earth, parallel to the earth, and then the scriptures show that the angels who fell from heaven, fell from heaven, they were cast out. They didn't fall. <laughs> they were cast out. They were thrown. They were hurled, is the word that was used. Hurled. Okay, and because they were hurled, ooh -wee! that was a lot of force. So you'll see the second Avengers has the individuals coming from space, which is to depict that situation. All right, just so long as you get it. Now, I know, I know, I know you don't believe. If only you believe. Okay. I know you don't believe, 
ladies and gentlemen, because you don't believe, um, there there is that problem. Now, why is that a problem? Well, the reason why that's a problem, ladies and gentlemen, and, and it, it really is a problem for some people, not all people. The reason why that's a problem that you simply don't believe is because you choose not to believe. That's a choice. It's it's not a, it's not that you don't believe because it's unbelief. It's unbelievable. Okay, it's not that type of don't believe. You don't believe because you choose not to believe. That's a choice. Okay, I believe because I choose to do research. I choose to have things proved to me, and based upon that proof, I choose to believe. Does that make sense? Okay, so for that reason, and for that reason only, I am doing this video. And this video is just to highlight that we have one who can see. Okay, we have one who can see. Just that simple. And I've been allowed to see. What about you? What can you see? Can you see that the October 6th attack wasn't really an attack? That it was a false flag? I saw it being a false flag the very first day where most of the people who died, died at, as a result of the military of a particular nation who said they were attacked. Being very careful of my words. Did a video about it. The very first day I saw it. Told everybody what was going to happen. Then I told everybody ah, Israel was going to escalate, escalate, escalate. They were going to be told, stop it. Just stop it. Okay. And what they do. The United Nations last Monday said, hey, immediate ceasefire. But they didn't put any conditions on the immediate ceasefire. That's why the United States abstained. They didn't put any conditions on the immediate ceasefire. So the United States did not, I mean, did abstain, did not veto. And neither did any other nation attempt to veto the call for an immediate ceasefire. Why? Because that's to make the public think that they are really interested in the Palestinian people. This has nothing to do with the Palestinian people. This has everything to do to see what people's reaction is going to be when they see atrocities, when they see governments blowing people up, police departments blowing people up. You don't believe me? Notice how the police are doing a lot of damaging things. They're killing people whom they claim are criminals, who they claim are murderers, and they're just killing them, and the public is saying, good thing. I was watching a video today on Jeffrey Dahmer. I'm not a fan of Jeffrey Dahmer. The, the amount of things Jeffrey did, and he admitted to it, so the fact that he did admit to it is no longer hearsay. But the fact that he did it, I didn't know he was doing those things in prison. I did not know that he was irking people and edging people on. Now, that's what they say. I have no proof of that. I have no proof of that. But he did petition the court to be in regular population. And they put him in the population with individuals who had defects, mental defects. And one guy was in there doing a dual life sentence. And apparently Jeff had pissed him off. And the guy said that the officers put him in that position. He was already doing life. You can't, he, he, man, he was already doing life. And that's the problem. Nobody, lifers should be with lifers, literally. Okay. The only problem is Jeffrey Dahmer was a nine-time lifer, 14-time lifer. How many times he was lifer? Doesn't matter. It's not my job to sit up there and to punish Jeffrey Dahmer for his actions to another. Well, what if it was your mother, brother, sister? But it wasn't. Do you understand? Neither was it the guy who was in the prison. Neither was it the correctional officers. It was none of their relatives. They don't have the right to seek revenge. That's against the law, people. Don't you understand? Seeking revenge on behalf of another, causing another person's death, whether or not the death of anyone was justified or unjustified is not the issue. It's the fact that it's against the law. Either we are going to follow the law or we're not. I know, I know, a big, huge conversation everybody wants to have. 
but pay attention to what's going on. Ladies and gentlemen, the fact that the public could agree that Jeffrey Dahmer could die, now they could agree that Jeffrey Epstein could die. Now, hold on. I want you to pay attention. So when it happens to you, nobody's going to bat an eye. Do you not understand that's how they slowly erode people's rights? It's by violating others' rights? Boom, everybody agrees their rights should be violated and we don't need to protect their rights because they are scum? So once you get rid of those rights, they come after your rights sooner or later. Hey, you guys have all agreed that they should go after guns of individuals who are convicted felons. There's nothing in the law that says they could do that. See, once you completed your sentence, according to the law, then you cannot be tried for that again. You cannot be penalized for the same crime twice. So the individuals who have been said that I don't like guns, I don't carry guns, I don't need a gun. I trust Jehovah, as I just explained in the last video. But for the people who do have guns, and they do understand that they have a secured right to protect themselves, you can't take away that right because somebody commits a crime. You can only take away that right during the commission of the crime and the punishment of the crime. 13th Amendment makes it quite clear that no one can be subjected to involuntary servitude only for punishment for a crime. Well, the punishment for a crime is once the sentence is over, the person can no longer be punished for that crime. That's the way it was written. That's the way it was ordained. That's even the Northwest Ordinance held on to that. But now, everybody is in agreement. Oh, no, the person who did this mass shooting Oh, they killed five children and two adults, and they should be banned from having guns, and other people like them, so we need gun control. No, you don't need gun control. You need to stop acting like idiots, government, and stop letting your representatives, government, act like idiots, government. And that will put an end to all of this other stupid stuff. They said this last character was transgender okay I, I that word i don't even know where that word came from it used to be transvestite and now they changed it to transgender you but you guys don't you don't even put the words together they just came up with transgender out of the blue there was no transgender in the 80s in the 70s and the 60s the word did not exist and in the 90s, they just started introducing it. Then they started talking about this gender identity. Go back, please, please, in history and see when there was ever a gender identity issue. Now, I'm not saying people hadn't had issues. I'm not saying that people weren't confused at one time. And I, I do say confused and or misguided and or having their DNA manipulated. That's right, you heard what I said, having their DNA manipulated to where they are a woman in a man's body. They are a man in a woman's body because of the gene manipulation. Jehovah says he will correct that in the future. Okay, he does say that. So you'll just have to wait and see if he keeps his word. Don't judge him because he hasn't done it yet, judge him for when he keeps his word in the time frame for when he keeps it, not for when you think he should keep it, because it's not up to you. He gave his word. He didn't give yours. So let him keep his word according to his time frame and according to the context in which he gave it. He said he will undo all of the wickedness and stupidity that man has done. Yes, the scientists purposely, intentionally, and deliberately messed with the human genome. They changed the Y chromosome by adding a line and making it into an X chromosome. And they took the X chromosome and they took away the line, making it into a Y chromosome. That's why we have so many individuals uh, who are female that look masculine and so many males who are masculine and look feminine. You don't believe me. Do the research, people. Don't take my word for anything. Wait, hold on. Uh-uh. We're going to do this. Scientists manipulate the Y and X chromosomes 
in research experiments. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, all you need to do is go do the research. This is not nobody's fault, but theirs. This is the government. This is what the government did. This is not what you did. Now, I'm, I'm not into this, oh, you shouldn't hate this, and you shouldn't blah, blah, blah. I'm not into all of that. You're not going to hear me say any of that stupid stuff. You're going to hear me say one thing and one thing only. Jehovah says no, and I choose to do what Jehovah says. Just that simple. There was a time I didn't do what he said, and look at all the problems I had. There are consequences when you don't listen to Jehovah. So I would rather listen to Jehovah now because he deserves that I listen to him. I implore you to find out what he says and then listen to him. And then test him and see if he keeps his word. Wait, hold on. Ta-da! Okay. With that being said, again, being able to see what is the science of Y and X chromosomes. Nobody cares about what that scientists fully sequence human Y chromosome for the first time. No, it isn't. They had already sequenced the human genome. That was back in the early 2000s. Okay, but you guys need to know that that's what they've been doing. They have been manipulating that chromosome. So the next time you see somebody who's going through that, understand how they got there. They don't even know how they got there because they don't know the science behind what's going on. This was done on purpose. They've been working on it since the 60s, at least. Okay. Sorry. I got to correct something. Give me one second. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I have the um, the puppy named Eve. I'll, I'll, sit, sit and I'll put a picture up here eventually. Um, and she is trying to let me know she's hungry. Oh, I give them more than enough food. If y'all only understood how I handle my dogs, they get these big, huge bowls of food. The bowl is almost filled to the top, and it should take them two days to go through it, but they'll eat it all at one time, and I let them do that because I want them to pick up some size, but I won't let them control me as in, oh, well, no, you're going to go down and get you some more dog food. Uh, we ain't playing that. Um, and they have 45 pound bags of dog food. There are five of them out there that I have. So they will not go hungry anytime soon. I'll probably go pick up two more bags this week anyway, because I don't like going in and having to lug that stuff in the vehicle. But anyway, so that you guys get it, this is what's going on in our society. Now, Magnanes. Mr. I was going to say Louis Gossett Jr., who just passed away as well, but um, Dick Gregory told you guys about the experiments with Magnanese and how they took that element and pumped it into our communities, into our food, not to our, into our air, to cause people to be more angry, more violent, that they're doing it on purpose. Go ahead and look at the violence around you and know that that's not a coincidence. That is science again. They're doing this on purpose. Don't be one of those who succumb to this. Don't participate in this junk. Do not be their puppet because that's what they're looking for. Okay, don't do my research, do your research. Go look it up, go look it up, go look it up. But you don't need no special glasses, people. We have one who can see. You don't need no special glasses, people. You don't need no special glasses, people. All you need to do is understand that as long as you open your eyes, you'll be able to see. So stop walking around with blinders on. Realize what's really going on. Stop choosing sides. Stop choosing sides. There are no sides, everyone. Have a good day.